What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I'm the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do important messages for somebody. I almost forgot what I was doing. What's up, leaves? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing so well today. So, some of y'all could sing, side note. Some of y'all could sing and y'all really need to like, you know what I'm saying? I could hit them high notes and all that. Y'all could be a little shy or maybe this could be dancing or guitar playing. I don't know. But some of you guys are very um, talented and you're hiding it, okay? Show it off. Okay, so I'm going to do important messages. I'm going to pull four cards from the Kipper deck and clarify each one. getting all of these hold on let me make some room okay bottom of the deck is great fortune in reverse um message of concern gift and distant horizon in reverse okay so there's something here that you're not going to be able to obtain as quickly as you wanted to here, okay? And that might cause some worry because um, I feel like in a, like, you know, it's kind of like you put a down payment on something and you're going to lose a down payment or something like that. But with you have gift, I feel like the universe is like, well, we have something here. It's not what you want. And I honestly feel like, Libra, um, whatever this was that you, you might lose out on, wasn't something that was going to be beneficial everything happens for a reason so look at it that way maybe maybe right now it, it would have been great but down the road it could have turned into something worse okay so the universe is saying like yeah you know we know you're going through this but we have something it's like it's like you could feel like you're falling but the universe is saying like we're gonna catch you with a pillow you know, and your favorite snacks, you know, it's not going to be a hotel room, but hey, we're not letting you fall, you know, so there's always something positive to look in every situation, okay? All right, the first card you have is despair, okay, so I feel like, um, you could be going through a hard time here when it comes to your finances or your stability. What is despair? Or is this supposed to be somebody that you're connected to? The Four of Cups. Yeah. Um, but something is definitely coming in, though. It's just... The Lovers, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Cups. Yes. The universe doesn't want you to worry. Something is definitely coming in. Um, it's just kind of like get ready, like prepare, double check, make sure that you have everything, you know, because with this King of Cups, I feel like you're ready for this could be even love, bruh. But you know that you, um, some of you guys, this isn't even like money or finances is you kind of feeling alone and sad, but the universe is saying like, you know why you had to be alone, you know? There was a there was a connection that you had to someone here that was not healthy at all, okay? And the universe made you see that, okay? With the Six of Cups, this could be somebody... This could be a Scorpio. I just did Scorpio's reading, and I'm seeing Scorpio here. Or this is somebody that always flipped the tables on you. Did you just see how that card just... This could be somebody who, who flipped the, the script on you a lot or somebody who um, used like, oh, we have kids. Oh, Six of Cups could be a family member. Six of Cups could be a sibling. Oh, you know, we're we're family. Mer, you know, like, like kind of to like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To like explain their behavior or whatever. 
Yo, that card doing that was weird. It's gonna be a Pisces. Um, but yes, I do feel like that love or whatever is coming, okay? Whatever it is that you're sad about, it's like it's going to be replaced. But you know that this could have just happened or something. Or it's like, you know, you needed time to completely release the energy away from you or something like that. I just feel like you know that you're in this despair energy for a reason, Libra, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, the next card you have is false person. Who the freak is this? There's somebody here who's a butthole for sure. These people, man. These people. What is false person? Like, corny. Their name could start with M. N. C. S. The king of pentacles. The moon. Could be a cancer. Toy, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This person is hiding how they truly feel about you. Okay, I don't feel like it's good. Don't feel like it's good. Um, What the freak, bruh? Why is this King of Pentacles here? This is like, I'm like, um, what? Like, it doesn't make sense. Maybe you're going to be like, why? Or what is this? The Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody who's greedy with their finances or their stability. Somebody who's um who likes to overtake, overcharge. This could be like a boss or something. The Queen of Cups. This is somebody who is not connected to their emotions whatsoever. Somebody who uses emotional manipulation here. What is the moon? What the freak are they hiding? Like, besides that they're a freaking false person. It could be somebody who's smiling in your face every day, buying you coffee every day, calling you every day, and then going behind your back and talking crap. Or going behind your back and trying to come up with a plan to like take you down this is corny the judgment <sighs> okay you call judgment on this person they're mad about that why i'm confused we have free will you don't have to hang out with this person you don't got to be around this person if you don't want to so because you told this person and i'm and you did it with the judgment card you did it right and fair yeah no you weren't a butthole about it you were nice hey i can't f with you hey you know i can't whatever so because of that they're 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 wow the four pentacles they're gonna stop they're gonna stop doing this now why The hermit they're not holding themselves accountable though so don't think they stopped because because they're gonna come up with the truth no they didn't what is this for what is this the temperance because they don't because it's not working whatever this person is doing is not working next try again could be a virgo sagittarius try again the freak try again the ace of wands yeah the universe said nope that's not happening that's not happening. You and Scorpio both had this card too. That's not happening. Have you been questioning? It's confirmation. Okay. The next card you have is mature man in reverse. Okay. Sex does not matter, but this is definitely an immature person. All right. Jeez. Could be somebody older than you. Who is this? What do they want? What's wrong with them? five of wands oh they want peace oh do you now you want peace is that so the five of pentacles the ten of swords the ace of cups there you had you experienced an ending with this person or some type of like harsh truth i'm hearing okay i feel like this person wants you to let them in you kick this person to the curb where is the love that's how they're feeling. Okay, so um, what is this five of wands, though? This could be somebody in your family. This is somebody who wants something stable and solid with you now. It's like this person sees the light or something. Or, like, they get it. The two of wands. 
The three of wands. Yeah, this person is ready to come towards you to get the ball rolling, to bring the peace in. Okay. Okay. The next card you have is the Ten of Swords in reverse. All right. Why did I say that? That's definitely the thoughts in reverse. Well, we're going to go with that. The Ten of Swords is in reverse. The worst of a situation is over. And you could be overthinking it. What is um, Ten of Swords in reverse? <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Focus on yourself. Focus on your stability. Focus on your family. Um, focus on taking care of yourself, your body, your environment. If you have pets, whatever. Um, the worst of a situation is not over. You are free. You are in or you are going to be free and independent from the situation. Okay. The next card you have is lovers in reverse. Um, this could be a Gemini. So I see you canoodling with somebody. There's there's a lot of love between you and someone else here. The Knight of Swords. Ooh, you going towards it. You going towards it with your arms wide open. What's this? The King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Ooh, this is your wish. This is what you want. The Two of Cups wow i think what you mostly like about this person is how true and honest they are like like they don't they don't come around around you know i don't know like i feel like you like that about this person um this is your wish and i feel like um you just you're so clear you're just like this is the way i'm going over here or like i don't know this could be aquarius super gemini i like this person let's see what would this person say to Libra? If you're not going towards this person, this person's coming towards you, okay? I wish things could be different. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I look for you everywhere. I replay our conversations over and over. I hide behind material things, okay? So, um... I believe that this person wishes that things didn't turn out the way they did here. Um, I feel like they used to project a lot on you here. They still think about you all the time, which is why they're going to come towards you. Okay. And I feel like they, um, they think about your conversations over and over, but I feel like you do too. And I feel like they also reread your messages or, you know, um, you know, like watch your pictures or something. I'm seeing somebody like scrolling on a phone. So, you know, okay, so this person's coming towards you or you're going towards them, whatever. I feel like you're open arms. You're like, hell yeah, come on. <laughs> come on down. I feel this person's coming at the perfect time as well, I'm hearing, okay? The next card you have is concern in reverse, okay? So you have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to worry about. What's concern in reverse? It ain't a thing but a chicken wing. The two of pentacles. Yeah, you gonna figure it out. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta let go of that negativity. That's that's stopping you. That negative mindset of oh you never gonna get it. Oh it's never gonna. Oh it's never. Oh you never. That ne those negative thoughts are on a thousand right now because this is the year of truth. So a lot of people are being like a lot of energy is out there because everybody's just going through stuff because we all need to start walking in our truth you know so if you're not walking in your truth or if you've been lying to yourself about something that's going to be shown it's happening to everyone right bigger some people is is monumental changes and other people is minuscule it's little it all depends on the work that you have done and all of that stuff but um, I do feel like the negative thoughts could be telling you that you got something to worry about and you don't. You're absolutely good, okay? With the anything is possible. So just keep it open, right? Don't have expectations, you know? Um, whatever this is, like if this is like, oh, you know, I'm never gonna find a better job, da 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 da. Don't put that out there. Just say, I am going, I will find a better job. I'm going to find a better job when the time is right, right? Just positive energy. Just, and also with this, Anything as possible is also like you have to keep an open mind that it might not come as quickly as you want or how you want or, you know, 
you might have to drive further for this new job or you might have to pay a toll for this new job like you know like just keep it wide because once we start making it too strict that's when the negative thoughts have have easier way in okay all right Libra, that's all that i have for you i hope this helped have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive